you to what it do, man. It is your boy, Abdul Up Next, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, day, man. <laughs> We are back with another one. We are back with another video that is very like on that side of what is going on. A lot of my videos has been a lot of what is going on. Have y'all been surprised with these titles or do y'all just used to this at this point? You know what I'm saying? Like we just used to this. Another mom exposing their daughter on Instagram live. But it's the fact their daughters really be doing some crazy stuff. So I see some comments. All the comments saying. The mom is wrong. This is abuse. If you were a mom, what would you do if your daughter was doing this then? You have failed as a parent. You are in stages of like, you don't know what to do. At that point, your emotions take control. So like, I ain't gonna lie, I could never see myself exposing my kid, but the kid has to get something. This is why like, I never got a whooping in my life. But like, you have to scare your kids in one way. I never got a whooping. Because I was scared out my mind. All my mom had to do to tell me to act normal is, I'm going to tell your dad. Boy, my mom say, I'm going to tell your dad. I'm acting like I just heard a J. Cole album. Like, I'm really in that suit and tie. I'm taking my life serious. But these people, bro, the things they did is crazy. And I ain't going to lie, I got away with a lot of things as a kid. One of the craziest things I got away with is getting my meat exposed to the whole school and middle school. And they roasted me because it was small. Like I wasn't 12 years old. What am I supposed to do at 12 with a small meat? You think, they thought I was supposed to be on the same level as Rico Strong? I'm still not on the same level as Rico Strong. I'm 20. But this video is called Mom Exposes Daughter on Instagram for Selling $5 Pictures. And then we got another one right after this that we are gonna talk about. Three, two, one. Now if my daughter is selling $5 pictures, I gotta post to the Instagram and let them know, like, yo, my daughter won't be doing this. I probably won't expose her like this, but we can only see what we're gonna do when we see what happens. Fall and send Michaela any money for a pussy picture, ass picture, anything. I'm sending your information to the police. Michaela's underage. Look at this motherfucking phone. What? You're selling that? What? This is absolutely disgusting, and this is not something that I even want to imagine. What? For $5? Dang, y'all not even trying anymore. I'm telling you, I don't know who is influencing these kids. How are y'all becoming OnlyFans stars in middle school? What happened to being Oprah? What happened to wanting to be a lawyer and a doctor and a nurse? We have, we need lawyers and doctors and nurses. Everybody can't be a rapper's baby mama. I am, get your lazy ass up and do something with your life. She's underage. This bitch been sending pictures. I got all the screenshots of everybody who done sent her money for... Turn around. No! She has no ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> bro, why'd she say that, bro? I am not finna look at no little kid's cheeks, period. Oh, God, I am not finna look. My eyes are closed. But that's a crazy statement. I ain't gonna lie. That is a crazy statement. That is a crazy statement. And if you were the mom, let me know in the comments. Are you sending it to the police? The police might be much. I ain't no snitch. I ain't never been no snitch. Oh, my mama, I've never been no snitch. If my daughter did that to herself, she did that to herself. I'm going to take her to a new county, and we're going to go start school over there, and they're going to do it the right way. We don't have to get the police involved because of what she did. You got to be mad at your daughter. Everybody is a creep. Everybody's weird. Open up Reddit. You will see some real weird things. But I don't think I would go as far as ruining another kid's life for what my daughter did. What do y'all think? Now, look, you can do that legally, and there's nothing wrong with that. But as a kid myself, I don't want to ruin another kid's life. I think I'm just going to knock my daughter this shit out, and I'm going to let you try again. We're going to start you over again in a new county. And a new Instagram, a new Snapchat, a new phone, and you're going to do it the right way this time. I said turn the fuck around. <laughs> I'm not trying to look what at that, bro. What ass you got? And you in here trying to take pictures in my motherfucking house. Bitch, you don't even clean up. <laughs> you don't even clean up. First thing parents say. And you in here taking ass pictures and shit in my house and asking motherfuckers to cash up you $5? But we can't lie, as a kid, bro, $5 was a lot of money. Bro, as a kid, I thought $200 made you rich. 
So it's really, I don't know. See, this is what happens when parents like, like, like you have to blame yourself at some point. You don't give your kid nothing. She's trying to hustle in the best way she knows possible. We have to make sure kids know how to hustle. Know how to hustle the right way. You are too, how do you even know what an ass picture is, bruh? I, I would beat my kid, 1,000%. I'm about to get the tree branch, the extension cord, the hook. I'm about to get the fork, the spoon. You got to get it, the pan, a shoe. Try to run. I'm throwing the shoe right across the room like a damn football at your ass. But, like, as a kid, I ain't going to lie. My mom used to give me $5 for lunch money every day. And I would take the $5, and I wouldn't eat lunch at all. I would just ask to share lunch with my mans, and he would share me his lunch. I eventually got caught. I was trying to save up to get a beanie. So I saved up and didn't eat lunch at school for one week, got $20 to buy myself a beanie. But my friend ended up snitching on me because he asked his mom to pack him extra lunch for me. That's where we messed up because his mom called my mom because they were good friends. And then, boom, I was gone. I was in trouble like a motherfucker. But at the end of the day, you parents, you have to blame yourself because you act like you everything is a problem. We got McDonald's at home. The McDonald's be nothing. Again, why you in my house taking pictures of your ass and shit in my house? Huh? I don't think I would record That's them, though. Because I can't fuck you up on this camera. But you already know. Right, it's gonna go down. Why you on this phone taking pictures of your flat ass in my motherfucking house? <laughs> Answer me. Yo, who that nigga laughing in the background? Bro, flat ass is crazy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I don't get it, bro. She's a kid. Who was buying it? Any dude who bought it, I ain't gonna lie. I hate you 1000%. But you are a menace. You bought that? Not in a way of it's nasty. I'm saying. You are in middle school buying shit like that. I got too much pride to buy an OnlyFans to this day. I got too much pride. You're buying that type of stuff at a young age is what I'm inferring to, to clarify, because I don't want y'all to think, oh, I'm, I'm judging her. I'm saying no. You're buying stuff like that at a young age? I'm gonna fuck you up. Don't nobody send her another fucking DM, a, a text message, not a motherfucking thing. I this phone. Don't send shit. And if, if, if any fucking cash app requests come through, I'm taking a screenshot and I'm going to send it to the laws when I send her bitch ass and let y'all know that y'all on here paying for prostitution. I can't stop sending DMs because I have this B word phone. All right, don't call your daughter a B word and I'm tired of seeing it. I'm, in, I'm embarrassed beyond words. Michaela out there. I can't even do her how I want to. This is social media. <laughs> bro in the background crying laughing bro in the background evil laughing is that joker but just know i don't have to play with this girl i don't clue where why school shop player disturbing yeah disturbing is definitely the word but if i was a mom i don't think i blame the way this mom reacted now we can blame the last mom but do you blame this mom I don't blame this mom. And I'll tell you exactly why. What would you do if you opened up your 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 elementary daughter's phone and she was doing this? I would and be I would I would not know how to act. I would have to go get advice from the whole world. But I have to beat the girl silly. I have to beat my daughter silly. Bro, what else? You think you can nurture this? I don't know if you can nurture this. And I'm not out here suggesting people to beat their kids at all. If you can talk your kid and scare your kid into doing the right thing without beating them, do that. But the fact is, you can't. Sometimes you have to really let the kid know what it is, dog. Like 100%. Nah, imagine, imagine swiping up as a kid and then say she's lame for doing that. Lame is crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't mad at this mom, bruh. Some kids really have to know because some kids really be on the deep end. Everybody, let me know in the comments, do you guys always have that one friend where you just worried about their future? Like, what do you do with your life for real? And this is one of those moments, like, if you're doing this at the young age, what are you gonna be doing at 20? What are you gonna be doing at 30? Got another one. So, before we get into this one, let me know in the comment section right now, are you sending the kids to jail? The kids who did it? Now, out of anger in that moment, if I was that mom, I probably would. I don't blame her. If you can sue them and make money, now that's a little different. If you can make money off of doing that, 
all of them kids going to jail. Shit, even your mama going to jail, 1,000%. But besides that, I don't really agree with it. Come here, you got to learn one, today. This one is called Mom Cuts Off Daughter's Hair on TikTok Live and Beats Her Unconscious? On TikTok Live? Cloud Demon? And then she's going to say one of the hardest things I have to do? Parents always want to cap. That's what makes me mad. Things. It's more important to be pretty than educated. More important to be a follow body than a leader, right? Okay. Don't oh, mom me. No. You had your warning. You had your chance. I told you to listen. I told you stop disobeying my rules. I told you being cute ain't shit. If you have no education. I told you stop disobeying me. I told you to listen and do as you're supposed to. I told you to do good in school. I told you to do your daily routine and you yet to even do any of it. And you thought you were disobeying me today and I was not coming to cut this hair off. You're sadly mistaken because you thought being pretty was so much better than being educated or listening to your mom, right? Yes, this is what happens when you don't listen to your mom. You just cut your daughter hair bald for failing a test? What the fuck? You just, bro, the things people do on TikTok is crazy. You guys, let's just hear this stupidity that she said. She said, I don't physically discipline. So you mentally, you, you played with her mental. She has to get, she probably won't get bullied. Do y'all think she'll get bullied for coming to school? I don't think she'll get bullied. But you just cut her hair off. Instead of just beating her. All you had to do was hit her with a belt three times. But you cut her hair off for some TikTok likes? 5,000 likes is not worth it. Your daughter has to get bullied. If I was the daughter in the last video, I wouldn't have ran away. But if I'm this girl, I am Sonic dashing out that crib. I am... I am Scooby doing out that crib. <laughs> Scooby Doo sound affecting out that crib. You gotta kiss my ass. I'm calling child protection services myself. Much better than being educated or listening to your mom. People right? still gonna yes, love her. This is bro. what happens when you don't listen to your mom. It's always gonna be that one nigga who's still joking. The crazy thing is today. I had to do something that, like, I really didn't want to do, but I had to do... The fuck up with that cap and bullshit. Lesson. We try to be better than our parents, and I try really hard to be the best mother that I can be. And no, you don't, bitch. You over here you over here telling people that you don't even know and explaining yourself. You don't try to be nothing but shit. You just want attention. Hashtag single moms. Mm-hmm. Where is the dad at, bruh? This is why dads, man, young men watching this, yo. I have a question, bro. We got to be in our kid's life, bro. Real deal. If you're uneducated, being pretty doesn't mean shit. If you have no respect, you have no manners, you have no class, you have no morals. When those forms don't work, we got to use different forms of discipline. So today, even though it broke my heart to cut off my daughter's beautiful hair, I chopped it right off because she needs to learn to stop following other people, have her own mind, have her own brain have her own ambitions and goals in life. She needs to learn that being pretty is nothing compared to having an education and being a beautiful young lady with class and morals, respect, manners, and goals. We have to do better as parents. We gotta put in the work. And I'm definitely doing it. Even though it broke my heart, I know I'm doing the best that I can as a single parent and I know that I'm doing the most, like a lot. And I make sure my kids have above and then some more. You know what makes me so mad? Damn, that speech was good. That speech was amazing, mom. You just did the wrong thing. That speech was good. Bro, that speech was so fucking good, bro. Bro, that speech was so good, bro. That was a good speech. You just messed up, man. You made one wrong decision. Just one. You fucked up. But that was a good ass speech, bro. God damn. Damn, she sound like Martin Luther King. So we I need to do better dream. as parents, even if it takes us doing drastic things like this. No. Hi. Do you feel trauma? This is trauma. This is the face of trauma. And you're doing this for TikTok, mom. Do you feel like I abused you? No. Do you feel like this form of discipline was a lot better than any other form of discipline, like physical abuse that I could have used? Yes. You know I love you, right? 
Yeah. You know, I got your back, right? Yeah. This is what parents be. After, after literally abusing their kid mentally, they say some shit like, you know I love you. No, you don't. Your mind isn't working. And it's clear as day she has a gun to the back of her head as she's saying this. Blink twice if you need help. We can see straight through that, can't we? You know, what I'm doing right now is to make you a better person, right? Yeah. How many times have I spoken to you about this? A lot of times. How many times have your teachers called me? Multiple times. How many times have you not handed in homework? A few times. How many times have you not listened? How many times have I told you when you're grounded not to sue you certain things and you're still doing them? A lot of times. Let's just be honest. Everybody does that. We just all don't get caught. The amount of things I never got caught for growing up, if my parents knew, I probably would be a whole different person. Teachers, and you're not handing in your schoolwork. Do you deserve to have extensions in your hair? No. Do you deserve to have the latest styles in your hair? No. Do you deserve to have nails in your hair? No. Your hair will grow back, But you didn't right? have to cut it, though. You can wear rigs, right? You don't have yeah. to get her I can add extensions back, right? Yeah. So you know what I did. I did out of love, right? Yeah. And the only reason why I posted was because of what? You think that these, these Instagram and Snapchat and TikTok and Roblox is your life. All she plays is Roblox and you doing all of this. Motherfucker, just help her with her homework and then let her play her damn Roblox. I didn't embarrass you. You embarrassed yourself, right? You embarrassed her. Thank you. You embarrassed yourself too. My kid's not abused. My kid yes, isn't is. upset. My kid knows. This is a learning experience and process. What y'all think about this mom? This mom, you handled it completely wrong. You gonna cut the whole head off just because she ain't do no homework and she wants to play Roblox? Then you got the camera on her. It's like, okay, the message is good, but you're doing it for a camera. So I don't know if the message is authentic or genuine, bro. If you have to do this and explain yourself to people on TikTok, do you really mean it in your heart, bro? Do you really mean it in your heart? You got the camera on her. Are y'all TikTok creators or are y'all a family? Every TikTok, am I bullying you? Am I... Look, you got the camera on her again, and you wonder why her life is the way it is. You talking about her life is not Snapchat and TikTok, but your life is Snapchat and TikTok. Who does she look up to, mom? You have the right message, but you don't even know what you're fucking talking about. You hate me? No. <laughs> Why, why is TikTok saying that you hate me? That fake ass <laughs> laugh. So pretty much all she does is just yap. And let's just be honest. We don't care. What do y'all think about this mom? Which mom is worse? At the end of the day, I think the first mom kind of was right with what she did. This mom is just delusional. It's levels to delusion. And we got to really give her credit, bro. You're very good at being delusional. Shout out to the three people with the like button on the last video, man. I need everybody to smash the like button. Everybody told me, yo, bring it back. Bring another one. It's here. It's here. Hit the like button, man. Thanks, everybody, for hitting the like button and enjoying this video. If you want your name to be at the end of a dually video, just follow my Instagram at Abdullah next. And let me know you did in the comment section, and you'll get a shout out just like these people. It is your boy, Dooley. Let me show you guys something in my room. Look, look, look. This is all I got in my room, man. I don't need nothing else, boy. I got my favorite albums. My favorite album of all time is Graduation. My second is 808 to Heartbreak. My third is At Long Last ASAP. I don't have the Graduation vinyl, but I'm getting it soon. It is your boy, Dooley. Comment your favorite album. Let me... Told you my bed was on the floor. Let me know if when I fix my room, I should do a room tour. I got a vlog. I got to start vlogging, huh? I kind of look good from this angle. Make my skin look, I feel like a bad bitch. I'm gone though, yes sir.